Um, I think if you're nervous about uh, supporting students who, who have experienced trauma, um, I think simplify it for yourself. I guarantee you, you're already providing interventions because you have a relationship with that student. And all intervention for you know, helping people heal from trauma, from ACEs, whatever terminology you want to use, it all begins and ends actually with relationship. There's nothing that um, a trauma-specific interventionist can do that isn't also formed on relationship. So if you have that, you automatically are providing some um, environment that provides psychological safety. Hopefully it provides psychological safety and not unsafety, but you necessarily will be having an influence on that student's ability to engage in healing and to feel safe. So if all you can do is be nice, that is huge. Um, and I know you're doing that already because you're a teacher, right? Or you're working in the education system. You wouldn't be doing that if you didn't care about the well-being of students. You are already doing a lot. Don't try to pretend that you're going to be the person that's going to drastically change everything about this student's life.